everyone. So today I wanted to do one final video on Angela City in uh, Pampanga, uh, Philippines. And um, kind of want to talk about uh, why it could be a potential place for some people to retire or to live. And uh, I don't want you to think of it just as a place where you go for fun because Actually, there are a lot of expats that live out here who aren't even into that type of thing. Um, but it has a lot of Western amenities. Um, it's got the International Airport, which is just nearby, which is very handy if you're somebody who might want to fly around in the Philippines and travel around and you want a good base to do that from, then Angeles is a pretty good location. You got the airport right there. And the airport, as of right now, it is not very busy. Um, I've never had a problem going into the airport in long lines. Uh, so that is a, a major plus in, in my book. Um, another thing is the pricing in Angeles is not that expensive. If you stay out of the walking street area, get away from that. It's no different than any other city in the Philippines. Um, in fact, you wouldn't even know it's a city that's known for walking street or, or girly bars. Um, if you're out past that area, it's just a, a normal Philippine city. Um, you got a couple of major malls, you got SM, you got Ayala. Like most major cities in the Philippines, you're always gonna, you're gonna have that SM and Ayala. And, um, cost of living is pretty inexpensive. Now I've noticed out in Angeles that your best deals are not condos. Your best deals are just getting apartments or houses to rent. And uh, the good thing also in Angeles is there's a lot of Western amenities um, because there is a large expat community. So if you do want some Western type food, you can certainly find it. There are a lot of Western restaurants. Now, if you're somebody who is into uh, going out and drinking and, and having a good time once in a while, then you do have the walking street that you can go out to and, and have a you know have a fun time. There's a lot of Western bars there, a lot of a lot of Western restaurants, and if you're looking to have a good time, then it's for you. Now, if you're looking to settle down and get married, um, like myself, I'm uh, probably will never step foot in Angeles again. I've been here, I've done it, um, I had a good friend that lives out here and uh, he's probably moving out of the area uh, within a few months so I really have no desire to even go back, it's just not for me. Not because of all the girly bars, like I said, you can live away from all of that and you would never even realize that you're in a city that has that. Um, it's just for me, I don't like to be around so many expats. Um, I like to be in areas that I'm not running into a, a white face every two seconds. <laughs> um, it's not that I don't have expat friends, I do. I'm just kind of picky and choosy. Um, you know, like I said, I don't, I didn't come out here to hang out with all uh, expats. I came in here to kind of blend in. Or I guess you're, you're not really going to ever blend in, but I came in here to kind of live amongst Filipinos and, and just enjoy nature here, enjoy the friendliness of Filipinos. And that's what I want to do. And it's not in Angeles City. So I won't step foot back in Angeles unless it's to fly out of Clark or something. Clark is a pretty good airport. If you want to um, avoid Manila, it's, it's nice. Even Cebu is getting to be ridiculous. So as of now, I try to fly in and out of Clark. Um, or you can fly into Manila and then just immediately from the airport hop on a bus and and take that two-hour bus ride into Angeles and then you can uh, go out of the airport there too. Um, I always just go for the best deals and uh, you know where I don't have to wait the longest. Um, that's how I usually handle it. Um, a couple of things. Uh, so if you want to go out to Angeles there are a lot of things to see. Um, there's places like Green Canyon Resort. I'll put that up here on the screen. Uh, there's also places like Aqua, um, I believe it's Aqua Beach Club, and there's Aqua Planet. And I think it might be one of the bigger water parks. Uh, there's uh, Hot Springs that's not that far away. 
um, Dinosaur Island, if you got kids, you know, talking dinosaurs, talking about di uh, uh, the history of dinosaurs, Air Force City Park, um, you've got, uh, you know, there are beaches, you got to go a, a few hours away um, to uh, uh, Subic Bay. Now, it, uh, you got Deca Wake Park, you know, where you can try water skiing, and, uh, and then you, there's a casino in Angeles. Uh, there's a there's a pretty old church that, if you're into that, you can go see that. Um, so there are a lot of things to do. Um, again, I'm more into the nature, so what you know, I prefer some place uh, like Davao or Cagayan de Oro, or I like um, even Cebu. Cebu for me though is getting to be a little congested. And if you want to get out and see waterfalls or beaches, um, gosh, it takes a few hours just to get out of all the traffic. You know, whether you're going by bus or car or motorbike, it's just hot. And so Cebu just is not for me anymore. I, I, I lived there almost two and a half years. And um, yeah, so I'm kind of done with Cebu. Angeles is not for me. So far, what I like the best is Davao. And I also like Cagayan de Oro a lot. Um, a lot of people are a little worried about living out in Mindanao, and it's not for everybody. I get that. You know, a lot of people rather just play it safe. And there's a lot of places you can go. There's Baguio. Um, you know, there's uh, Tagaytay City here in, um, around the Manila area. And so there's a lot of places. Um, there's Dumaguete, but again, too many expats for me. And um, yeah. So all kinds of places that you can go and uh, settle down in. And um, yeah, I, the only thing I would recommend is just checking everything out. And uh, a lot of people are very happy out here in Angeles. So it's worth checking out. You know, a lot of people like to be around expats. They like their Western amenities. Um, Angeles, I've noticed every place I've stayed at, even where my friend's apartment is, high speed internet. He hasn't uh, had to deal with brownouts or water shortages. Um, so far, so good. And um, yeah, I could certainly see living in Angeles for some people. Uh, just me in particular, I'm not that interested in it. Um, so anyway, that's really about all I have to say. If you have any ideas or thoughts, go ahead and post them down below. I'll go ahead and let this video run and you can look at uh, you know some of the scenes from Walking Street. Um, I know this video is not for everybody, a lot of people said it's boring, um, but ironically enough this walking street video that I did has had more hits than any other video I've done. So I get that some people don't like it and it's not for everybody. You know, this will be my last video on walking street, I promise. Um, I will be hitting the road here on Monday and traveling around and I'll be doing condo reviews, um, hopefully interviewing some Filipinas and um, some sites and travel destinations. So stay tuned for all of that. And uh, yeah, just uh, continue to watch the, uh, the video here. There's a couple funny scenes. <laughs> One with a nun walking through Walking Street. I found that video amusing. I'm not sure if she took a wrong turn or what. <laughs> but uh, anyway, until next time, I'll see you guys. Take care.